My name is Sean Kelly and I'm a part-time technologist here at DoSpace. I'm here today to give you a quick demonstration on how to correctly calibrate the Toby Imobil tech kit that we have here at DoSpace. Correctly calibrating the Toby Imobil is essential as it allows you to achieve a high level of precision when using the modes of gaze selection and mouse simulation. It also helps you achieve a correct distance away from the eye tracker. I will narrate my actions so that you can further understand what I'm doing. I'm going to use the stylus to select the gaze interaction setting icon on the desktop. This will take me straight to the calibration settings. The first thing I'm going to do is select the track status icon. This will help me position myself in front of the eye tracker. Now I'm going to select calibrate. Again, it will bring up track status. The idea is to get your two white dots inside the black box. Now, once that is done, it will take you to the calibration test. Now, during the calibration test, you will see a pulsating dot with a little black dot in the center. The idea is to follow that little black dot as closely as possible. Now, it will calibrate nine different points to help you achieve a high level of precision throughout the entire screen. Now, once it is done, you will get calibration results. Now, I've looked away during one of those calibration tests so that it will give me an imperfect set of results. Now, once you see these results, you will see that there is a missing calibration point and a couple that are slightly skewed on the left eye. Now I'm going to select those individually so that I can recalibrate those points to improve my overall calibration results. Now it'll just take me through those three points that I selected. And by recalibrating them, Hopefully my results will be improved. Once I achieve a successful calibration, it's simply a matter of selecting OK and then you're ready to begin using either gaze selection or mouse simulation. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to come to the tech desk and ask for Sean. Otherwise please refer to our website at www.dospace.org.